again folks, Mark here, welcome back to the channel. On my own again guys, I'm in um, a place near Strata, Florida, a place called the Tyvee Pools and it's sort of mid to west Wales area in the Cambrian Mountains. So what I'm going to do is take a hike right round the lake and set up camp for the night. And what I bought is I bought this Osprey Hike Light 32 day pack and um, I thought, set myself a bit of a task, try and get everything in here to um, camp out for the night and left stuff to get through the night. I think I've managed it even though it looks a bit deformed, but I can live with that. Got everything in there, lightweight sleeping bag, lightweight tent. So yeah, all the basics, um, minimalistic cooking gear, so yeah, I'll see if um, I can get through the night with just this. Absolutely beautiful that is. That is Hlyn Egnant and that is one of the biggest lakes in the Tyvee Pools. The other one is Hlyn Tavy, which I think is over that way somewhere. But um, yeah, it's the first time I've ever been here. I've been meaning to come here for a while. and But, but I've done some research on YouTube and to be honest, there's not a lot of videos about this place. It's one or two videos, and that's about it really. So I thought I'd come here and see it for myself. So, you've got to be fair, that is stunning. And if um, any of you want to come here, I recommend it. Awesome. It's not very busy either. There's a couple of cars around, but that's about it. A few people walking walking their dogs but apart from that it's really peaceful and yeah just the way I like it just had to sit down it's got to be 20, 21 degrees today. So not bad for the end of March. So I'm just sitting here admiring the view. I could sit here all day, I could. Bloody lovely. All I can hear is the skylarks. And no, there are no sheep, so I can't even say that no more. Just me and the sheep, just the way I like it. Because <laughs> there aren't any. It's just me and the Skylarks. Awesome. I was going to follow the, the lake back around that side. But what I'm going to do, I can see a path going over that bit of a hill there. And I think behind there is... Um, Clint Ivy, and that's the main main lake around here. So, and it's bigger than Clint Agnan. So I'm going to take a walk over there and see what it's like over there.
close on a map. I thought I'd be walking over a little hill and I'd be there. I've got to walk over that lot. I'm hoping the lake is on the other side. And then I'll stop for a coffee in it. Only moment to find out. Yeah, so that, that's clean egg, Nance. That's where I am, my current position. I need to get over there to clean Tyvee. So, I've probably got to walk the same distance again to get to it. Oh well, it's not too bad. Just a little, little update of where I am. I'm walking through all this Sussicky, boggy crap, and my foot just went right down. Ah, oh, soaking. Jesus. Just got to head for that greenery now. Get out of this rubbish. Bloody nightmare. My foot is squelching. Anyway, that's it, I'm on some drier land now. Go for that. Just got on top now, and I assure you, that is not Lynn's Ivy. I think Lynn's Ivy is just some bad mound and down. It's not fat to go now. Right, finally here. That's Clint Ivy. So, that looks like a decent place to have a cup of coffee. So, I'll get a brew on now, and then I'll um, start heading back that way and find a, a pitch for the night. To wild camp. Hey guys, jet boils boiling now. Look at this thing I bought from AliExpress in China. It's a windshield. Be a stove or your jet boil, and it was an absolute bargain. Cost one pence plus one pound fifty postage. So for one pound fifty one, you got yourself a windshield. And it just costs next to nothing. So if you're looking for one of them, go on AliExpress, absolute bargain. Got a red kite. Beautiful birds there. Can obviously see some something down below. First lake now. Try and find somewhere to pitch for us. I think I found a fairly distant um, camping uh, spot. What do you reckon, guys? If I 
pitch a tent by there. And look at that for a view. I can't wait to wake up, wake up to that in the morning. That is absolutely stunning. How awesome is that? Right, let's get the tent up. Right, the tent of choice tonight is the Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo One Man Ultralight uh, Trekking Pole Tent. Um, weighs less than 900 grams, which is super lightweight. And this dive from Camp and Wild with a drag, he keeps telling me, it's a Tesco tent. I'll tell you what, Di, you don't buy. Um, a tent in Tesco was 238 quid. So yeah, um, brilliant tent that. Ultra lightweight. You can squash it down to absolutely nothing. So die, you know quality when you see it, mate. So yeah, that's quality right there. Awesome tent. Right, that's a tent all pitched up. I've had to move it because um, it's a bit flatter there, the ground. I wanted to stick it by there overlooking the lake. But I set it up and it was like on so much of a slant and it just didn't work. So I've had to put it where well, I put it. It doesn't matter, I'll still um, get those views in the morning. Lovely. Right. I'll show you my sleep setup for tonight. Firstly, I'm using the mountain equipment helium 3.8 inflatable mat. As usual, the Trekology, I left 2.0 inflatable pillow and I've got the nature hike. This is my summer bag, this is the nature hike CW280 down bag. That'll be warm enough for tonight because it is pretty warm outside still. So yeah, that's, um, that'll be more than adequate for this evening. Ah, just that my head on the bloody guy line. So yeah, that's my sleep setup. What I'm going to do now is just admire the views for a bit more. And then I'll think about getting some food on. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, it's tea time. Tonight I'm having a real termat reindeer stew. And I've read um, good reviews on these. They're not the cheapest, they're like £11.99 for a meal. And they're 578 calories. So yeah, not bad. Yeah, so I'll give that a go tonight. As I say, I've seen um, good reviews on it, a lot of people like it, so I'll let you know what I think in 10 minutes time. Also, I'm going to have a Whisper hot chocolate. Not drinking tonight, I couldn't fit it in my bloody rucksack, could I? So, <laughs> alcohol free night. Real termat, reindeer stew, and a chocolate whisper.
Right, let's get some water in this. <laughs> Bloody open it. Honestly, I can't open it. Cut. Try again. Right, managed to open it. It's filled to the fill line. Whatever that is. A bit more maybe. Let it settle. I reckon that's about it. So what I'll do now, give that a good stir. You've got to make sure you get right to the bottom of the bag with these, because if you don't, you have a mouthful of powder. Add a bit more water, I reckon. Because that is quite thick. Looking forward to this, never had venison before. A little bit more, just for luck. Give it a good stir. Oh, smells nice anyway. Zip it up. I've got my homemade food cosy tonight. So I'll drop that in there. Velcro it up. I'll give that eight minutes. So 6.36 and eight is 6.44. Catch you in a bit. Right, give it a stir. See that? Get my honest opinion on this. So here goes. Firstly, it's tasty. That is nice. Is it worth eleven pound ninety nine? Probably not. A rating out of ten, I'd say that's a good seven and a half out of ten, in my opinion. It is nice. But would I pay eleven pound ninety nine? Every time, don't think I would. But as like now and again, yeah, I think I would. It's nice though. So if you haven't tried it, 
get it, it is nice, it, it is worth having, it's worth trying, but I don't think it's worth 12 quid, that's my opinion. But it is tasty. Thumbs up from me. I do normally have a couple of um, beers on a wild camp. It's nice just to have a hot chocolate for the change. And just sit here and look at that. One hell of a view that is. And look at the water, it's like a mill pond. So still and calm. So if you're looking for um, a really peaceful place for a wild camp, Come to the Tyvee Pools. You won't be disappointed, this is awesome. I know we got um, decent weather at the moment, like, but. And sunny weather does help, but this is, this is awesome. I'm definitely gonna come back here again. So, so I'm going to sit here now for a, another hour or so and just admire the view. It's all about the views guys. if you can see me, for 20 past two, I haven't slept. All I can see is what a difference a day makes. It was bloody lovely yesterday, no wind, 20 degrees. Oh, God. Jesus. Blowing a gale. I can't sleep. Ugh. Ugh. So that's a quick thing. Things can change when you're wild camping. <laughs> God! Jesus! Because it's a single skin tent. I just got condensation dripping on my head. You know, how, how can I sleep with this? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. Good night. <laughs> Bloody hell. What a night. I wasn't expecting this. Bloody hell, it's five o'clock. 
I badly step on like the wind. It's unreal. God. <laughs> Why is it always windy when I go wild camping? Don't they love you in the day and in the night? It changes. I don't know. Mad. Anyway, I'll try and have another hour. Don't know how, I'll, I'll try. Bloody hell. See you later. <laughs> Morning again. Excuse the mess of me. Bloody hell. Whew. The wind. It's unreal. Anyway, I'm going to pack up. I'll see you a bit later. <laughs>